reality, what Paul actually said has a little bit deeper meaning. So in the Greek, uh, to look down on comes from the Greek word kataphronio. It means to despise, to scorn, or to hold in contempt. To not care for because it's thought to be without value. So when Paul was giving Timothy this address, he's basically saying, look, people are going to ridicule you. People are going to talk about you. People are going to not care for you. But don't let that stop you from doing what God calls you to do. Don't let that stop you from following your passion. Because when you follow your passion and you have the power of the Holy Spirit behind you, anything is possible. Amen. Amen. Yes. There's another word in there, um, exhortation. That's a big word. It's actually translated paraphrasis in Greek. And it just simply means a calling leader. So basically with that, Paul is just saying, if he gets a chance to come, because Paul's in prison at this time, if he gets a chance to come, then just make sure that you're, you're telling people about Jesus, you're doing your job well, and make sure that you're exhorting people or you're calling people near so they can do the work with you. Because you can't do it by yourself. No one man, no one pastor was called to lead an entire church plant by himself. You need a team. And your team needs to be fired up. That's why when Nehemiah went to rebuild the wall, he first had to give an passionate, empowering speech to the people so that they would join him, so that they would be on his team. And then he entrusted his team to do the work. Nehemiah was just giving people instructions. The people were doing the work. And in a short amount of time, they completed an almost impossible task that took a hundred I don't remember the actual number. But it just took a long time for that wall to be rebuilt, and the people did it in a very short amount of time because they were passionate, because they were fueled, and because they had God on their side to keep them from going astray during the process. And so that's basically what I wanted to come through and say tonight. Just use whatever you have to passionately put on display, not just here, but in your workplace, in your school, school's coming back. I know we're all dreading it. We all want to go back to school. But think about school as a chance to, to showcase how much growth you've experienced this summer. To tell new people about, hey, I, I learned this new skill, or I went to this new place, or, or I met someone this summer. It's possible, but just... Don't go back to school in fear. That's the number one thing that will hold you back. Go back to school with confidence. Go back to school empowered. Go back to school and tell your classmates, tell your instructors, tell that homework you don't want to do. I'm here to do God's work. I'm here to follow my passion. I'm here to figure out what I was put on this planet to do. And then I'm going to just walk in my destiny. I found out what I wanted to do, I'll make this quick. I found out what I wanted to do after going to multiple, what's the word? Multiple, um, hang on, <laughs> concentrations, there we go. Multiple concentrations. I major mass communications in college. I was following the wrong path. I wanted to be a sports broadcaster, I wanted to be on TV, calling NFL games. That was not my calling, unfortunately. My real calling was to go around the D.C. area, speak, empower people to use their lives as an example and to make the wisest decisions possible. I encourage you to read Proverbs. Proverbs is my favorite book of the Bible because without wisdom, it's impossible to make the right decisions and he's God, right? Amen. So, that's basically it. Just don't be afraid to come up here. I'm glad a bunch of more people signed the book. I'm glad that we're all here to support each other and to uh, just share our talents, share our God-given abilities. But I just wanted to just come up here and say, 
hey, I'm excited to see what's next. I'm really excited to see you guys come up here and demonstrate your passion because passion can change the world. Excitement can change the world. You can change the world as long as you keep God at the center of whatever you're doing, walk in wisdom, and demonstrate excellence with whatever God's called you to do. All right.